Hey there, this is Dr. Jennifer Gardella, your social media expert. I help my clients understand SEO, blogging, and social media. And then on a monthly basis, for some clients I also do blogging and social media, making sure that they are building a significant digital foundation. So today I'm actually rented some conference room space in our office building, and I am batching content. So what this means is I'm sitting here recording videos. I want to make sure that my small business owners out there who are do-it-yourselfers understand that the process of creating content is not that hard if you have a plan and if you batch on a regular basis. So my blogs for the month of February are written and now I'm here and those were done in a batch and now I'm actually here recording the video. So I wanna to explain to you a little bit about what you need to record a video and how easy it is. There are some pieces that you can't see because I'm using them to record. So I have a laptop in front of me and I have a little Logitech um, HD camera hooked up to my laptop. Really simple. I then, just for sound quality, have a Blue Snowball mic that I got off of Amazon for a couple bucks, no big deal. And then I have a list of the topics that I'm gonna discuss. These are based on the blogs that, are, or, that I've already written for jennifergardella.com. This makes it super easy. Now you may say, Jen, why are you doing blogs on the topics of your videos? Well, as we know, you have people, you have ideal clients that you are trying to reach and they may love to read a blog, which is why you have a blog. They may also like to listen to a video. They may not like to read, they just might, to, might love to watch a video. So it's really important to have a video for them to watch. It's making sure that you're reaching your ideal clients with your information in the way that they are trying to digest it. And for not that much money, you can set yourself up to record the video. Now, what do you do after you record? You can add some jazzy things to it. You can do some post-production, but if that's not your thing, then don't do it. You don't need to look like one of the huge marketers that has a team behind them. I don't like the way all of that looks. I think it loses a lot of authenticity, so I don't do it. What I will do is I'll go into Canva, create a head picture, a starting picture for the uh, thumbnail for this video, put it into the video on YouTube, upload it, write really good keyword rich descriptions, and hopefully inspire someone to start recording video. I then do record those videos. Once I record and upload the video, I do embed them into the blog posts. Now, I didn't do a blog on how to make a great video, so this one won't be embedded, but I'm doing the next one on LinkedIn. Again, that blog is already on my website and I'll embed that video. If you have any questions about any of this, I totally get it. Tech is a lot to take in. Video is a lot to take in. Please visit my website, jennifergardella.com. I offer a free consultation for a half hour where we can work out your strategies to get you moving in the digital space, video, blogging, and social media. Until next time, thanks so much. Bye-bye.